ISR started from a control systems background and we approach things like computer vision, artificial intelligence. We are part of an associated lab in Portugal called LARCIS, where we team up with other research institutions and they are very different in their goals from us, which means that we really have to be interdisciplinary with the social sciences, with the environment engineering, mechanical engineering, sustainability. We also started having a strong group on biomedical engineering, which was born a little bit later and is today one of the important groups here. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. ISR is organized in terms of five research groups. The Intelligent Robots and Systems Group. Our mission is to advance robotics in a holistic way while always keeping a focus on the real-world impact. We want to create intelligent, adaptive and collaborative systems that can work alongside humans and improve everyday life. So we integrate AI, perception and control into complete systems and uh, we test them in uh, real-world environments. An exciting project we are involved in is called Aeronext, where we are building teams of micro-drones that can be launched from a large UAV to support search and rescue operations. We are tackling challenges such as mid-air deployment, motion coordination, collaborative sensing and human swarm control. Looking ahead, we want to keep pushing robotics to new frontiers and ensure our research has a real-world impact from homes to skies to space. At the Computer and Robot Vision Lab, we carry out uh, fundamental research and applied research in computer vision and robotics with two key aspects. Uh, one is a very interdisciplinary approach with the neuroscience and psychology. And the second one is that we look at biological vision systems and we try to understand how biology works. And at the same time, we try to bring these uh, evolution-inspired solutions to artificial systems. We have to develop uh, very sophisticated uh, humanoid platforms. And we did that with the Balthazar, Visi and the ICAP. And the ICAP is a humanoid robot the most advanced in the world in terms of mechanical degrees of freedom. And it is used by engineers, neuroscientists and psychologists to better understand the human cognition. For the future, there are many challenges. So one is the integration of neuroscience and robotics. The second one is to perform AI-enabled learning and interaction that would allow robots to operate across many different contexts and adapt to our emotional state. And the third one is to use the technology towards a more uh, inclusive and responsible society. The Dynamical Systems and Ocean Robotics Group carries out work that is directed towards furthering the knowledge in dynamical system theory and applying it to the development of autonomous marine and aerial vehicles. We are currently involved in the Hayeku project which builds upon a long-standing collaboration with India's National Institute of Oceanography and where we aim to uh, develop AI-based uh, seabed imaging and mapping uh, tools that can be used for study of uh, marine ecosystems, in particular uh, coral reef habitats. We believe that the ocean unlocks solutions to some of humanity's greatest challenges we would like to contribute to that effort of unlocking the ocean's potential by developing advanced robotic systems and aiming for a sustained presence at sea that, that can help us to unravel the mysteries of the ocean and also explore it in a sustainable way. The Signal and Image Processing Group, specifically, we focused in uh, three sets of problems. Handling missing data, low-rank models, devising algorithms that can estimate what we want in a massively distributed domain. We've been developing technologies to extract information from massive uh, sensing uh, infrastructure like city cameras, Recently, signal processing is going out of the planet, so one of the uh, interesting projects going on is the ability to analyze the craters in Mars surface using machine learning, which we coin signal processing techniques. At the Evolutionary Systems and Biomedical Engineering Lab, we do 
different types of research on neuroengineering and biomedical engineering in general. Um, from magnetical imaging uh, with EEG, uh, electroencephalography and magnetic resonance imaging, we also uh, involve neurofeedback and virtual reality to try and uh, improve diagnosis and therapy of patients. A good example project that we are working on is the rehabilitation of stroke patients using neurofeedback and virtual reality. So the idea is that we measure the signal of uh, the activity of the brain via electroencephalography and then we give information on the patient on whether they are being able to imagine motion of their motor uh, activities. And if they're able to activate their brain properly, then we give them positive feedback. And so this helps them with rehabilitation. In the future, we hope to continue our mission of improving diagnosis and therapy. And in particular, we'd like to expand on the research on neurostimulation to be able to uh, interfere with brain activity to improve patient outcome. And for that, we want to expand also our network of collaborations. We see ISR as an institute that in the future, as it does now, will work even further pushing the frontiers in these areas, not just academically, but with, with, with companies, Portuguese and abroad. So we are looking at attracting a lot of um, students and colleagues to come here in these areas because we think uh, we are really touching the important uh, research uh, future areas and topics.